A big story right now at 6 o'clock. More family members of missing teen mom Brittany Wood are behind bars tonight. Seven people arrested face charges related to an ongoing child sex abuse investigation. Wood went missing in May of 2012. Local 15's Darwin Singleton is following the new developments. Darwin, a lot of twists in this case, huh? Especially, Andrea, when you consider many of these people have been arrested before on similar charges in the same investigation. It's a shocking new development in a case that child advocacy officials say sinks to a new low. Um, in my 25 years of being here at the Child Advocacy Center, I have never seen a case like this. Strong words from Pat Guyton, who heads the Mobile Child Advocacy Center, and thought he'd seen everything. But last night's roundup of friends and members of the Brittany Wood family takes this case, he says, to a new level. We have never had a case like this where there are so many alleged perpetrators within the same family molesting, allegedly, so many children within the ex extended family grouping. This is your chance to say something, to speak for yourself. Last night's string of arrests stemmed from new evidence from a new juvenile witness. The charges range from sodomy to incest and beyond. And each arrestee shares another thing in common. They were either friends or a relative of the missing teenager, Brittany Wood. Which once again begs that question, where is Brittany Wood? But I believe that uh, the circumstances surrounding her death, I believe there are people uh, walking around today who know what happened to Brittany Woods and have a good idea of what happened to Brittany Woods. They may not have been involved, but they have a good idea of what happened to her. And while this case is not directly in involved with the Brittany Woods case, there certainly are some indirect indications um, that lead us back to the disappearance of Brittany Woods. It is a complicated mystery, and these arrests only add to that complications, even for us in the newsroom and you watching at home, which is why we put together a graphic that kind of leads you through the arrest last night, the family members, a kind of wood family tree that we put together. You can go online and check it out in our coverage of this story at local15tv.com. I'm live in the newsroom, Darwin Singleton, Local 15 News.